Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Sternke. Welcome to the Artist's House Pro Tools tutorial. I'm going to be taking you guys through some of the basics uh, of learning how to operate uh, the most popular digital audio workstation out there, which is, of course, DigiDesign's Pro Tools. Uh, you've probably heard of Pro Tools before, not sure how much you know about it, but I'm going to show you um, that it's a really easy program and a great program to use, and that really anyone can afford it and uh, anyone can learn how to use it. It's a it's a really user-friendly program, very intuitive, and I'm going to have you uh, recording by the end of this uh, by the end of this tutorial here. So, to start off, uh, the first thing you have to know about Pro Tools it's made by a company called DigiDesign, as I mentioned, and um, there's a whole bunch of information on their website, which is digidesign.com. The first thing you have to know, though, about Pro Tools, is that it comes in two main versions. Uh, Pro Tools HD and Pro Tools LE. Now, Pro Tools HD is, of course, uh, HD stands for high definition, and that is, of course, the full featured Pro Tools that you've maybe seen in uh, large recording studios if you've ever if you've ever been in there. Um, and it's and it's as I said before, by far the most popular uh, uh, platform for recording digitally in the studio. And the thing about HD that makes it different from LE as well as different from other recording programs such as Nuendo and Cubase Logic and Sonar, some of these other programs, is that Pro Tools HD uh, has dedicated cards. They're physical uh, uh, cards that you put actually in your computer and they do the processing of the audio on those cards. So you don't have to have a uh, super powerful computer in order to run Pro Tools, which is uh, really cool. They take the load off of the computer and they do the processing. They, uh, they help process the plugins and they help you with the track count and they help you with latency and they help you, they just help the program to run really, really smoothly. And that's really what Pro Tools, uh, I, I think one of the big things about Pro Tools that separates it is that it is so uh, stable. It's a rock solid platform. And certainly with HD, uh, especially with these cards, you can actually use multiple cards. Um, a like a standard setup for a, for a large studio is a HD3 system, which means that it has three of those cards in there. Each one of those cards is effectively like a 900 megahertz uh, processor. So once you start stacking those up, you can see that it's a, it can add up to a very powerful system. Um, now, for Pro Tools HD, uh, just to get started, you're looking at, uh, for an interface, for one card, and for the software, uh, you're looking at about $10,000. And uh, most of us don't have that kind of money. Uh, certainly, I don't have that kind of money. And um, uh, so, for people like me, and um, possibly you out there, uh, DigiDesign has come up with um, a... Uh, a version of Pro Tools for us, an affordable version called Pro Tools LE. Now, LE stands for Limited Edition or Light Edition. And really, essentially, when, when, when LE first came out, it was they had a lot of features that were stripped away, and it wasn't really considered a professional platform. But they've started, as computers have gotten more and more powerful, they've started adding features, and whereas, uh, where to nowadays, uh, LE is, uh, just as professional uh, as uh, any other program out there, Nuendo or, or, or any of these programs. It has a few limitations. There's a few differences between HD and LE. But uh, across uh, both, both systems, you can open up an LE session in an HD, uh, on an HD system and, and vice versa as well. So you can, uh, the cool, that's the cool thing about it is I can go to a large studio and record drums or basic tracks or whatever come back to my place and open it up in my LE rig and everything's, everything's where it should be. Um, so uh, LE is a much more affordable uh, option and uh, the, I'm going I'm to take you through some of the available interfaces uh, that are out there for LE and as you'll see uh, there's, there's an interface for every budget. 